Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Twitch you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic today guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Alrighty guys, so in today's video we are back with another G4 review as per usual. Today we are reviewing yet another brand new G4 flavor for you guys that we have not reviewed on the channel. Today we are going to be going ahead and reviewing the Dragon Ball Z Evil Emperor flavor. I believe the Evil Emperor flavor is cherry, pomegranate, cranberry, and strawberry. I believe so. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. So, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so before we get too far into this video, make sure to go ahead and check out GameHiveGG. Just type it in on your Google browser, whatever browser you want, GameHive.gg. Go ahead and pick up a couple of samples. Make sure to use code Twitchy for a 10% off your order. Also, I wanted to ask you guys to drop a like on this video if you do like what you see, as well as hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a lot. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, enough wasting your time. Let's go ahead and get into this review. So we're gonna go ahead and check out this evil emperor G Fuel flavor inspired by Dragon Ball Z. Alrighty guys, so the powder, this is what the powder looks like. I think it's slightly pink, Sli slightly pinkish purple. Let's go in for a smell test. Yeah, definitely smells like an amalgamation of berries. Let's go ahead and pour this bad boy into the shaker cup. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and screw on the cap. You gotta make sure she's tight. And remember, if she ain't tight, then what are you doing, homie? Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and shake this bad boy up. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so we're ready and shaking up here. We shook it up for about 25 seconds with a bunch of ice. So we should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and check out the powder check on the bottom. Definitely looks like that was not enough. I mean, judging by all the flavor profiles that are in this, I feel like there's a lot more different types of powders. So this one, judging by the looks, didn't mix super well. So we're actually gonna go ahead and give it a probably about another 10, 15 seconds right now. Alrighty guys, we shook it up again, so we're gonna go ahead and take one more look. Still doesn't look like it mixed perfectly, but I mean, usually with the darker purple and black flavors, they just don't really mix as well, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get into the smell test. So I'm pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the only thing I, I, I kind of hope that this flavor isn't like, if it, I, I just don't want it to resemble brimstone too much. Which I've heard other people say that it does. So if it tastes like brimstone, probably not gonna like it too much. I mean, I don't hate brimstone, but with a couple other things being added to this, I think it could make it better. Alrighty guys, so let's go in for an official smell test here. Here we go. Yeah, I am, I am getting a lot of that cranberry. I'm definitely getting a lot of that cranberry for sure. I can't really smell anything other than cranberry. That is definitely the strongest scent note in here for sure. So for smell wise, it smells like brimstone or only crans. Wait, no, this is, no, think about it. It's cranberry, raspberry, strawberry, and cherry. Sorry, raspberry, cherry, Raspberry, cherry, cranberry, strawberry, whatever. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Color looks kind of nice, but here we go. Cheers. I'm, I'm kind of confused, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little confused. Um, I'm gonna take a few more sips, guys, and then I'm gonna try to come back to you guys with a more well-rounded thought here because I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm getting here, if I'm being honest. Alrighty, guys, so I gave it a couple more sips and I've kind of come to a terms with myself that it still kind of tastes like brimstone. It tastes like a lighter, more smooth version of brimstone. I can't really pick out the strawberry nor the cherry. They don't really come out 
like at all in the flavor. I'm really only tasting the cranberry and the raspberry, which is basically what brimstone is. Oh, oh well, that, it's not basically, it's exactly what brimstone is. And for me, I mean, I, I can't really decipher the two flavors apart. I mean, I could compare them, but I mean, it's kind of just about this evil emperor flavor here. So, um, and I don't want to make the video any longer than it needs to be. So at face value, from what I taste, all, all these reviews are really just my opinion and kind of giving you guys my thoughts on the flavor. You know, everybody tastes things differently. So some people might be able to pick out the flavors better on this flavor than, than I can. But with my, with what I taste, I'm pretty much just tasting kind of a lighter, more smooth version of brimstone, not as potent as brimstone. I say this is definitely a lot lighter, smoother, more drinkable version of brimstone. So if I had brimstone and the Evil Emperor at the same time, I'd probably go with the Evil Emperor because it's just a more smoother version of brimstone. And I find brimstone to be way overpowering. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with on this one. <laughs> Alrighty guys. So what is my rating going to be? And kind of doing a mental graph of where everything is rated. Um, this is definitely not a bad flavor, but it's not good. I mean, I would say it's good, but it's not fantastic. And where I feel that kind of lies, I would probably give this a 7 out of 10. I'd probably give this a decent 7 out of 10. Uh, honestly, no, I'm actually going to bump it down a little bit. I think I'm probably going to give this like a like a 6.5 out of 10, I think. What it was going for, I kind of felt like they missed the mark because I, I, I truthfully feel the cranberry and the raspberry are way too overpowering to really let any of the two other flavor profiles really shine through and you're really only getting a lighter version, as I said, of brimstone, which is kind of unfortunate, but you guys may taste it differently than I do. Alrighty guys, so that has been my review on the Dragon Ball Z Evil Emperor G Fuel flavor, guys. If you guys did like the video be sure to drop me a fat thumbs up and leave me a comment down below make sure to subscribe and all the good stuff and we will see you guys with our next video adios and take care peace